Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wuggy. We're still going through the Salem's opening, cause Jesus Christ. If you if you missed the last parts, I'm here to tell you a quick sum up. We basically just talked about the Salem witch trials. And now we continue the story. For my part, over the last few days I've been investigating whether there have been any changes in the past events. I've been checking with repaired foundations over and over for signs of instability. I haven't overlooked anything and yet. Something is still going on. There's something about the singularity that is unlike anything we've seen so far. Some small distortions that threatens the very rules of our world. I also got some water. Hmm, the data indeed accurate, in this case undeniable, clear for all to see. Um, which would mean the culprit is closer to a god than a human, the demon god to be precise. It is certainly no surprise that a demon god pillar would act veiled in secrecy. But mm, even the mysterious acts like this are bound to be in incontrovertible rules. However, these rules cannot be tested from the outside. To do so, one would venture inwards to get, as they say, up close and personal. Holmes is right. Ooh, I need to remember to also breathe. <laughs> if we can't get information that makes sense from the outside, then we have to investigate from the inside. Master Wilkie, as Caldea's acting director, I am formally requesting that you be the one to enter the mist. That's right, M. Light Shyamalan's the mist. I want you to investigate what. Whoop! I want you to investigate whatever, whatever is inside. Sorry, Holmes came out for a second. Whatever is inside, rescue as many people as you can, find a demon god pillar, and destroy it. Yes, ma'am. You're up, Mash. Right, right, uh, the, the Miss Bounded field. We've conducted a number of tests in our analysis, and one of the automata has successfully returned. We had learned that the Mist eliminated anything made past the 17th century technology. That's why the cutting edge drones that were sent to were sent in ceased to function. What's inside the Mist? Well, as the acting commander said earlier, there do appear to be humans inside. What's more, we believe they are leading the normal lives despite their confinement. Normal lives? Then the people who live there are all right. But wait a minute, wait a moment. Wouldn't they be panicked out of their minds? I know I would. I'm afraid I... Unfortunately, we just don't know whether these those people are safe. We haven't, we haven't gathered enough information yet. As you saw from the sketches, the area inside the mist has changed completely. It appears to be recreating Salem the way its people lived their lives in the late 17th century. Whatever the reason for that may be, but that's where we need to begin. Wow, I'm impressed you figured all that, all that out all so quickly. This was information we got from the near future observation lens, Sheba. Sheba. Incredibly detailed information, too. Especially given that it was observing something in present day space time. <coughs> Usually Sheba isn't much help at all, so the whole st staff was puzzled when we were able to use it here. I'm sure there's a good explanation for it, but since we don't have time to figure it out right now, I'm just going to chalk it up to an unexpected stroke of genius. Good luck. Indeed, truly this is an act of prov providence. God has clearly seen it fit to bless us in our dire time. Now we should hurry and find a way through the field, whatever it takes. I agree, which is why Holmes and I put our heads together and came up with a possible strategy. A ray shift that results in the same area. This era. This way, we can send you straight to the heart of Salem without moving you across time. However, there are two major conditions involved in this plan that I need you to understand, Wokey. As I explained earlier, we got one round trip ray shift period. What's more, the number of people you can shift is severely limited. The association has already forced us to shut down the reactor in Caldea's basement. So we can only have enough remaining magical energy for one last large-scale round trip. But there are exceptions to every rule, huh? Hmm. Just goes to show you can't cross a bridge until you come to it. We're not operating independently anymore. We can't afford to be optimistic or even pessimistic. As for the second condition... You'll need to dress for the occasion so that you don't stand out in the 17th century Salem. Think of it as an officially sanctioned cosplay. It may sound silly, but we believe it will be essential to letting you move around in Salem unimpeded. Sounds great to me. I'll go first then.
You can't. Why not? Bill, tell them. Indeed, once we learned that this Lady Da Vinci asked us to come up with a scenario for infiltrating the area, I nearly fainted when I first thought she was asking me to sneak in. I thought someone was here. So you can imagine my relief to know that's not the case. You do know you do have to share every thought that comes into that swollen head of yours, don't you? Haha. <laughs> After all, we servants are but a band of fools of eccentrics. As such, we are well suited to being actors. Thus, in this scenario, you will visit Salem as part of a traveling group of performers, a troupe, if you will. Hmm. What a joke. The great William Shakespeare reduced to writing a script for a glorified circus act. I knew even before you put a quill to paper that taking into account the inexperienced actors and the uptight audience, there was no way the script would be suitable. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, Anderson, there is nothing more delightful in the story than a surprising and well-conceived twist. In this case, we hardly need world-class talents, of course. We'll need to be able to form in some fashion, or the whole ploy will be for naught. But, as a troupe, is by definition a place where those who are otherwise unable to earn a living drift together, which is quite perfect for camouflage. Wait, hold up. You mean we are going to be performing? Is there a problem with that? I think it's perfect for a pretty clever idea myself. As for which servants will actually be joining this troupe, I decided to choose them myself, taking Bill's opinion into account, of course. Let me tell you, it was a terrible headache coming up with a scenario that fit these rank amateurs. Still, that's not the way to see. say it wasn't fulfilling. Go ahead and knock yourself out with this manuscript. Just make sure you pay, pay in full up and up front. So then, neither Shakespeare or Anderson will be joining this mission. What about you, Geronimo? I'm sure Senpai would be greatly relieved if you have you along. I'm sorry, Mash, but I can't do that. It wasn't. I wasn't cast in this operation, either. No doubt they thought my inclusion would lead to unforeseen difficulties, even as a member of the troop. I would like nothing more than to help, but not if it means putting my friends in danger. Oh, I see. On the flip side of that, what's gone into you, Medea? You loathed this idea from the moment you heard it. You said you refused it when even, we, even if we used a command seal. Does the fact that you've been standing around without even a peep mean you still haven't made a decision? Mm, well, I guess I'm still thinking about it. You want to send Medea to Salem? Are you serious? Even if she just goes to pretend to be a troop member, that's far too dangerous. After all, Medea really is a... Exactly, regardless of Medea's extensional circumstances. Sending a real witch to a place famous for witch hunts is the height of a folly. Ah, boring, dull, dim-witted. I should have expected no better response from a lion. Hmm, quite. There's not a hint of humor or adventure to be found in it. Indeed. Couldn't have said it better myself. Ha! <laughs> Go ahead and laugh if you want. I'm used to being ridiculed by selfish so-called geniuses. But this this is neither the time nor a place to be discussing humor or fashion or patience or patents. There are American citizens who have been swallowed up by this darkness. Their very lives are at stake. If you want to be funny, then save it for the movies. I understand you're very patriotic, Edison, but I'm afraid things aren't that simple. This may be a modern day, but we're dealing with a world where the past and the town of witch hunts were, where external, that's just a typo, where external supports just isn't an option. Common sense alone won't get us through this. We need a specialist expertise. That's why we're counting on Medea to serve in an advisory role. If a demon god is behind this, then it's going to be an extremely difficult mission. There's no one better suited to find the line between superstition and matraft than her. Of course, we really didn't expect this to request to upset her all like this, like it has. But if you've changed her mind after sleeping on it, all's well and the end's well. But... Settle down. There's no problem here. No, wait. Let me try that again. <laughs> There's no need to make a fuss over things. They've come to pass, Mesh. I swear by Hikate that I want to let you harm... I won't let you harm. Let any harm befall, Master. What's this? Are you feeling a bit off today or something? 
I was just in a bad mood last night. Anyway, it's up to Master to make the final call. Am I wrong, little writer? I'm getting chills. There's something seriously wrong with her. What about you, Mash? Are you coming along too? She can't go, dude. I... I... I can't. I was never part of the cast to begin with, so... Anyways, now that they're all caught up, I'm going to go ahead and begin the ratio of pre preparations. In the meantime, Wilkie, I want you to brief everyone we chose to accompany you. Remember, we don't have a lot of time before you need to leave. I especially want you to keep in mind that this is our one and only chance to ray shift. Okay. Finally, we're gonna get... No! Nothing gets done. So who's in the troop? Who would be a good actor? No, not Mash. Oh, the sad persona music's playing. Oh. Hi, what are you reading there? Oh, this? It's the file from this mission. Did you already finish your briefing? Me? Don't worry, I'm fine. I've been working pretty hard these last few days, but I'm feeling better now and I got a bit of a break. Compared to what you and everyone else was about to head to Salem just be going through? I'm sorry, you're right. Looking back now, I have been a bit discouraged. It goes without saying at this point that I'm not a companion anymore. I'm Da Vinci's assistant and a summoning circle engineer. Having an ordinary Caldea staff member like myself go anywhere somewhere like Salem will only put me and everyone else in danger. I just wish there was a way I could be useful. Useful, useful. That's it! Mash? I'm sorry, Senpai. I just remembered something urgent I have to do. Now, if you excuse me, I have to prepare right away. See you later. What was that all about? Now, that's some impressive Kohai power. Damn right I'm saying that. Team Mash, Team Mash, Team Mash, Team Mash. Okay, looks like everyone's all set. We'll be sending a party of six into Salem, including Wolki. Once again, do not let your guard down after making your best way to the bounded field. Make sure you're not to say or do anything that would give away the fact that you're originally, or originally from the 17th century. Alright, initiate race shift sequence. What? W. Wait! Please take me with you to Salem. <gasps> well, now that's a pretty last minute request, but I'm afraid we already filled the roles we need. There aren't any other... Yes, there is. I've heard the troops like this have a prompter who works behind the scenes to feed the performers their lines. In that case, I believe Senpai will need a dependable Kohai to be her secretary. Don't worry about the scripts. I've already learned them all by heart. I dare say you won't find a better prompter than me on a short notice anywhere, so once again I request to accompany the rest of the troop. Of course, I'm certain I can be useful as an on-site Caldea staff member as well. Way to go, Mash. I second that request. Yeah, you memorized the entire script. Well, well, I'm impressed. You certainly can't argue with that. What do you think, Mr. Showbiz? Does your script need a bit of a support? My script is nothing less than perfection itself. However, even a perfect script means little without factors to bring it to life. A prompter to feed the performers on stage their line, you say? Hmm. Such role could all well be crucial to ensuring the success of a performance, but on an amateur cast. Put on by an amateur cast. Above all, I cannot well but commend her for memorizing the entire script as much as I... As such, I am more than happy to support Mash's request. Besides, if the troop cannot perform convincingly, they are certainly to come under suspicion. To be honest, I think that would be a great help. <sighs> what do you think, Geronimo? Uh, I'm, a, I'm afraid I can't concur. Having a young girl accompany a troop of performers is bound to invite misunderstandings. It would be dangerous even without the threat of combat, but I will say that Mash seems to be taken all by in seems to have taken all that into consideration. In which case I believe this is Mash's decision to make. I honestly did think I could use an assistant. What if we say she's my I mean the troop leader's little sister? Well, if anything I believe Mash would be more convincing as your older sister. I'll warn you now, Wilkie, such a pretense would only invite further suspicion. Me playing Senpai's older sister. <sighs> Can't see your sit on this. The other party members don't appear to have any objections. 
Wilkie's okay with it, then I have no real basis no real basis to refuse Mash's request. But let me give you this warning. Integrity won't keep you safe in a world of abnormalities. Sometimes you'll need to be straight up sophist. Sophist? Or look the other way. At times like that, you'll need to weigh your own principles against the mission's success. Understood, I'll keep that in mind. I'm counting on you, Wokey. Good luck. War. Okay, everyone, we're off. To Salem! Finally! Alright then, in that case, I hereby issue the Remnant Order's final command. Master Wilkie will arrive at Salem Singularity at the current time. Make sure you make full use of your experience to date and see if you can come back safely from this especially ex exponential, exceptional mission. Woo! We're doing it! We're finally going to Salem! Please. No. Excellent. Everything looks good with the ray shift. Okay, let's get back to our monitoring duties. All servants remain on standby until further notice. Do you think it was a good idea to let her go along? I knew that Mash would want to go, but were you the one that was most against it, Da Vinci? I've nearly been accused of being a witch myself. Well, not in the broom flying wand wielding people cursing sense, so much as I thought as a heretic. Somebody claimed that the autopsy uh, I did for research were evil witch rule rituals. I'm sorry to say that back then I didn't handle it very bravely. Instead of standing up for what I believed in, I found myself at loss for words. I turned my back on the truth and had to lie about it for who I really was. Over time, that kind of pressure starts to eat away at you, like poison more than anything else. I just thought the mash was a little young to go through that kind of torture. Don't be silly. <laughs> Don't be silly. Those two have seen all the worst, the ugliest of the worst of humanity by now. The ugliness of the witch trial should be a nice bow on the whole thing. Besides, the very notion of sending a troop of formers into a Puritan village was utter lunacy from the gen from its genesis. Indeed, fighting fire with fire, as they say. <laughs> I can't laugh. Where are Wilkie okay, and the others? Did they already leave? Huh? What are you still doing here? What's going on? Was there a problem with the ray shift? Oh ho, it seems we have gotten our twist rather early in the story. How delightful. How is this delightful? This is terrible. Is there no way we can contact them? I've been knocked out this whole time. That wasn't me who went along. That was someone pretending to be me, using magic as a disguise. And so we're dealing with someone capable of outwitting a witch. This is bad. If you're here, then who's the Medea who was sent to Salem? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So it begins. Pseudo Singularity 4? Humanity Foundation Value. A.D. The Forbidden Advent Garden, Salem. The Heretical... Heretical? The Heretical, Salem. Alright everyone, that's today's episode. Join me tomorrow as we go for more of the story. We're getting there slowly but surely as we enter this quiet forest. Oh god, there's a lot of fighting. Goodbye everyone, and if you like this, you should leave a like. Goodbye. <laughs>